Anak, umuwi ka na. Worldwide this morning, growing concern over a growing health crisis. The World Health Organization has just declared that this is a pandemic. As different as our experiences can be, there is always something that kind of brings us together, right? Like you can't, you can't change that, right? And so what I loved about that idea is there's a recognition there that yes, we can have different opinions. Yes, we can be different generations. Yes, we can identify differently, but still there will be something that binds us. And what is it that binds us? Is it our culture? Is it our familial bond? Um, and for me, I kind of also landed on its love, right? It's this idea of love will bind us together. And so whether or not you see the way the world the way that I do, it's important for me for you to understand who I am, right? And in the process, maybe I'll learn a little bit about who you are also and we'll and we'll cherish that kind of you know bond between us. Remember when you started going to college? You came home a liberal. Dad, please. That's what we do to you guys in school. All these people that we never met and never will meet because of what had happened to them. You know, when I first started making this film, um, you know, I, I reached out to several friends about, you know, this idea of and really looking at this divide that happens between people and thinking about how specifically in Filipino and Filipino American communities, I've seen people figure out how to navigate through um, the, you know, through that challenge right there, right? And, and figure out a way to be close to someone who might even vote differently than you do, right? Um, and also just recognizing, you know, as, as uh, I became an adult and as I've gotten older, I recognize more and more that my parents have their own experience and have made their own choices based upon that. And I can't even imagine what some of those choices might have been and what I would have done in some of those situations and circumstances. Um, and it just respects, it just makes me respect them even more. Um, regardless of if we agree on things or not, um, it took a while for me to just understand who my parents were just as people, right, as, as individuals. So I think when I started making this film, really thinking about this idea and finding, thankfully, these three individuals who are willing to kind of go there and, you know, and interested and if not, um, you know, maybe even excited about participating for this opportunity to maybe go into new territory that they hadn't before, or maybe in a way to reframe it. And I think the fact that the film takes place, you know, as the pandemic is emerging is honestly one of, uh, you know, the best backdrops that this could happen in because it was a moment where everyone was self-reflecting, recognizing that we were all transforming and experienced something. Um, but it was also a moment for us to, really start recognizing what we may have been taking for granted and how things can easily be lost and how things need to be nurtured, right? And I think, um, thankfully, the three of them figured out a way to think about all of this and move forward with these conversations um, and be able to really think about what is the end result and what they're hoping for. They're not hoping for any particular answers. I think if anything, they're just hoping to um, grow closer to one another. The way that our family communicates is not necessarily, um, it's not great. What advice would you give for those of us that are struggling? Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> This film premiered at the Los Angeles uh, Asian Pacific International Film Festival. And I was wondering, I love asking this question, you know, what, how was it watching it with an audience at, the, uh, at this premiere for you? Um, you know, it was amazing to premiere the film and watch it specifically, you know, at a film festival that was Asian American, you know, Pacific Islander centric because I think automatically I'm in the right room with the right people who probably are going to appreciate this for a lot of different reasons, right? Um, and so, yeah, it was, it's incredible. It's, it's, you know, it's always incredible to just make anything and share it with people because it's also a moment to not just reflect upon what you've done, but 
see the potential of what it can also become further as soon as you let go of it and kind of release it out into the world and people can watch it and have their own thoughts about it, think about it, have conversations that don't include you, you know, and I think it's just amazing to see the potential of what a project can do when you start seeing it in front of people. So, so that was really great. If you look at your neighbors around you, you will see who stands with you, who stands for you. At least I know that you can stand up. That's the thing I'm so happy about.